Hoopers, it's Deanne Love and we are up to day four of our seven day hoop workout challenge. Day four, give me more, come on, are you ready? Today I'm just gonna totally mix it up for you. Seven different moves in your seven minute workout. We're gonna go one minute on each move. It's gonna be high intensity, but you can totally rock it. Grab your hoop, whatever size you love. I am using a 90 centimeter because we're gonna take it on and off the body today. So I'm gonna call this the halo mix up. We've got one minute. So we're gonna start on our dominant hand in whatever preferred direction you absolutely love. Let's work it up here until we feel a bit of a burn. Then we are gonna press those palms together. The elbows will be beside the ears, nice and comfy. Just keep that pulse, keep the core nice and aligned. And then we are going to release that first hand. Give it a bit of a shake. We are mixing up these halos, these cowgirls, whatever you like to call this move, but you better feel the burn. Wow, already. Okay, let's take that second hand back up. And now we're back in this prayer position. We are going to go for the last 10 seconds into the propeller move. So it's alternating hands. One, two, one, two. Right here. Let's go for a move that I like to call a cha-cha, which is really just a break the reverse on the way. So if your hoop is going to the left, you use your left hand to break the direction of the hoop and send it back in the opposite direction. Break and send it back in the opposite direction. Cool, we've got one minute of this, let's go. So now we're gonna go that cha-cha beat. So break, one, two, three. Break, one, two, three. Break, one, two, three. Break, one, two, three. If this is a little bit fast for you, you can keep those spins going for a little bit longer. Break and reverse, pulse, pulse, pulse. Break and reverse, pulse, pulse, pulse. <laughs> I really love this one, it's super cool. One, two, three, break. You can get that other arm out. Have a bit of a lunge in the body. Love it, 10 seconds, let's go. So we're gonna go for some waist hooping with a little bit of a march, but I want you to use your arms because it's a full body mix up. So keep the little tap in the toes, the pulse in the belly, the posture upright, and we're gonna take those arms up and out and back. You ready? Let's find that rhythm. Let's go up and out and back. Keep the march and the pulse. We got lots going on. So let's go up <laughs> and out and back. Would you like to do it turning in a circle? I bet you would. Let's go up to the side and out to the side and then to the back. Keep the march happening. Up and out. Last time and back. Remember this is day four, give me more. So we're gonna go for the booty bump. You're going to have your knees over your toes and your legs nice and wide where all of the energy is coming from the pulse in the legs and the little ripple in the belly. You wanna keep the hoop nice and high, well above the belly button and we're going up and down. And we got one minute of this. So you wanna make sure that you've got a nice flat back and a strong, strong core. So it's none of this kind of wobbling or moving around. If you're not quite at this move yet, then I want you to just do some waist tubing for this one minute. So we're pulsing up and down. Now if you do have this, because we've got 20 seconds left, you can do a side step. So we're keeping the pulse in the legs. 10 seconds. This is hard stuff. One minute, let's breathe. The heart rate is up, so let's keep it there. We're gonna keep our posture nice and tall and our pace hyper speed. So we're going for one minute as fast as you can. Let's go, we're really gonna push into it. We're not coiling the hoop up and down the body, we're keeping it on that band by activating the core, keeping it nice and flat with our pushes. Back and front, back and front, or if your feet are side by side, hyper pace as fast as you can, faster. You can go way faster than that. Let's go. We're halfway. <laughs> love it, I love it. I mean, I love dancing with my hoop, but this kind of stuff just gets everything racing. It's amazing. Faster, 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 harder. Bring the feet together. 
even harder, higher heart rate, shake the hands in the sky and keep pulsing. Don't lose that beat. <laughs> So we're going for the ninja mix up. I want you to take your dominant hand and get your forwards weave on. Crisscrossing from side to side. Watching your planes reach and pull, reach and pull. You can go nice and slow and activated or fast, but safe. Be careful. Two hands, grasp the hands on top of each other. Swishing side to side. Keeping the shoulders high, the belly in. Activated. Now giving it to the second hand. Strong reach and pull. This is the ninja mix up. We can do it. Two hands, back to the two hands. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna work it. Five seconds on each side. Right hand, backwards weave. Woo! Second hand, whoop! Backwards weave. We can do this. Okay, we are going for the on-body mix-up. I want you to start on your weight. So we're gonna pulse it out 10 seconds on each level. So we're gonna drop it down, down to the hips. We have 10 seconds here. Pushing into the hoop where you want it to stay. Nice and flat pushes. If you want it to raise up like we do now, you're gonna make movement above the hoop. Now we're back on the waist. Pulsing here, enjoying, pushing. You're gonna take it up to the solar plexus next. So let's coil it up, movement above the hoop, above the hoop, just underneath the chest. Really pushing out from that power center. You can go for it. Now if you're feeling it, you can do the little down, up, dip. And now we're on the chest, let's pulse it out here. Breathing, expanding, opening, strengthening, keeping that core strong and drop the hoop back down to the waist. Today was just like a buffet of amazingness and you did so well, I bet. So many little things to taste and to snack on. What a workout. Let's have a stretch, we totally deserve it. So we're gonna take one leg back and press it down, keeping the knee over the front toe, not too far, but in a line with the ankle. We're gonna stretch deep back into that back leg and when you feel ready, Pulling into your core, stretching up. We're going to take the hoop up and over, releasing through the shoulders and the back. You can gently tilt your chin towards the sky for a deeper stretch. Feeling the opening in your hips, your belly, and your back. Ah. Woo. Sometimes my favorite part, the stretch. So we're going to come back to the center and then over to the opposite side. So second leg goes back, watching your form and alignment. We want to make sure that the knee is in line with the ankle, the hip is opening up, the belly has space and the back leg is long and strong. When you feel ready and in check with the shoulders back and down, we take the hoop up and over for my favorite mohawk move space here, lengthening but strengthening. While getting some relaxation, you can take your chin slightly to the sky, release and open, celebrate, <laughs> all those things, and relax. Let's take the hoop up and off to one side, extending both of the arms, Dropping the head to a comfortable position for the neck and loosening off through the long side and relaxing through the contracted side. Breathing, softening, enjoying. And roll that hip to the back, keeping the arms high, opening up through the chest and the shoulders, softening through the neck. Feeling release in the belly and the hips. And now rolling gently over to the other side, extending both arms, letting the hoop be the guide, softening in the contracted side and lengthening, releasing, extending through the long side. And then rolling to the front, Rounding out the back, this feels amazing. 
coming to the sky, dropping the hip down. We're going to take a big deep breath, breathing in and up and out and down. One more time, in and up and out and down. Don't you just feel more and more in love with your hoop and your body every single day? It's like you get to embrace your power, your beauty, your strength, your coordination and express it. I love it so much. And I'm really happy that we get to share this seven day workout together. If you happen to miss out on any of the workouts for this seven day challenge, then all you need to do is head on over to hooplovers.tv because I have a list of every day's workout for you as we release them.